started painting, I can remember painting it at the age of four and five, but uh, I didn't start working at it professionally until I was in my 30s. And I'm a late bloomer, I'd say. I was 50 when I finally stopped doing the, the life income making jobs and started painting all the time and depending on it for whatever income I received that would be here in, in Inverness. I was raised in Fort William, on the outskirts of Fort William, which is uh, one half of the amalgamated city of Thunder Bay, northern Ontario. I consider myself a northern girl. I like winter. I like uh, cold snow outside. I don't mind black flies. I grew up in the middle of black flies. And uh, yeah, I'm a northern boreal forest girl. I came out to Cape Breton because my friend Paul had been coming back and forth working here uh, on a house for about six months of the year and then going back to Toronto and working for uh, the, in the financial district for another six months of the year. Came to check it out. You know, why are you here? What's so hard about staying in downtown Toronto? And um, I didn't want to go back and I spent the next two years trying to figure out how to come and stay here. I think of myself as a storyteller. There are images that come to mind that are frequently used. I paint horses a lot. I, I work with horses a lot. They're a beautiful figure for me. So anytime I feel like I need to push, jump start because I'm not getting anywhere, I will use the, the horse as a, the basis for a drawing and a painting. I've also used a lot of family stories to create from. I have uh, one that you pulled off the wall ca is called Dorothy and the Raven. That's my aunt's story about encountering a um, house-grown raven on the reserve when she went to visit a woman there with her mother, my grandmother. It was as big as she was and really scary. And long walks in the woods. Uh, I've explored a lot of the highland areas in western Cape Breton. There's a lot of old homesteads that uh, really draw me to them. Something about a house that's been long abandoned and derelict is, is really becomes a, a living object. I really enjoy representing them. And uh, also the characters that you run into, they're foxes and coyotes and bears. Happily, I've never met one, but um, you know they're there. You can see the, the signs. But the whole idea for painting my family's stories came out of a walk in the woods, you know, just contemplating how you happen to be where you are, what you're doing and why you're there, and uh, it comes out images. A friend of mine had given me uh, a set of opaque watercolors that I had never used before. She told me that she thought I might have fun with these. They were fun and I haven't used anything else very often since then, but the method that I had developed for producing the images that I was trying to, to get to uh, has since been applied to other media, but I'm working with gouache primarily now. It's a vivid and um, very, very versatile color medium and I have a lot of fun with it. There was a, a book, a manuscript being developed called The Rabbit's Race. It was written by a Métis woman from Manitoba. And Su Suzanne, the graphic designer and the editor, decided after looking at my work that they wanted to ask me to illustrate it. And uh, so that was one of the things that I learned how to do on my own. And uh, it's been really well received. In fact, I signed on to do another project for the same publisher and um, a third project with uh, Frank, which is a, a children's novella for the Cape Breton University Press. Oh, those are the two projects that I'll be working my tail off for the next couple of months. <laughs>